I think if there's one thing I wish I would have known when I started college, or even when I was in high school, was not to have this uh, notion that science was just for the bookworms or just for the anti-social or whatever you want to call it. I really never considered science because I considered myself a creative individual and I didn't think there was room for expression in the field, but I was proven wrong. There is so much you can do in biomedical science, in medicine, I mean, the opportunities are endless. Well, I really thought, so, you know, I thought loving biology, you know, I should be a doctor. And, you know, aren't all those scientists lab geeks anyway, and how much fun could they possibly be? Well, my first trip to NIH, and I got to interact with real scientists, and I realized these are really cool people that actually have a lot of diverse interests, and some of them had just been to a meeting and had gone to a jazz club and had a great time. Like, okay, these are people with very vibrant personalities. They love what they do. This is a cool place. I'm a very dedicated mom. <laughs> I love my child. Uh, she's uh, now 13 years old. Uh, so as a professional, I try to balance as much as I can uh, uh, my family responsibilities with uh, the demand that is to keep up working at Hopkins. You know, I'm, I'm very involved in Natalie's school and, uh, and uh, the synagogue. Uh, and my husband just uh, helped me <laughs> to um, balance. I never oh. thought that I would be in the science field. I thought I was gonna be studying art <laughs> in college. I still maintain my art. I'm an artist on the side. <laughs> I've been exhibiting my work in Miami, and it's a great balance to have. Also, it's a great form of meditation and a break from all the science and studying and medicine. And it's really important for me to maintain both and to use art as a vehicle to educate people. Um, yeah, I'm a mother of three kids, young kids, and um, it's always been a big dilemma since I've had them, how to balance. I don't think there is a balance, uh, really but I'm trying and... Outside the science, <laughs> I like to hang out with my friends and I, as I told you, I like to travel a lot, but I also like music and I like to listen to live music, so go to concert. And then I'm, I like also to do some creative things and use my hand to produce some object with different kind of materials, like here is necklace, um, but also dresses. I, I used to, like, I like uh, running, I like skiing during winter time, but now I have two kids, <laughs> so I'm full-time mom, pretty busy. Lab. Kids, um, you'll usually find me at a concert, I'm always going to concerts. Um, I love going to the sporting games around here, I'm a very avid Ravens fan and Orioles fan. Um, and I own a home, so I'm constantly doing something in my house. So, so. apart from working here at Johns Hopkins, um, I actually do natural hair on the side. Um, actually, last year I was working as a full-time natural hair stylist, which was great. It was it really allowed me to um, evoke my creative side, and I don't know, just really, I don't just mesh with people. I do green smoothies every morning. I've been doing this for the past like three or so months. Before then, I was a pescatarian. Before then, I guess, stopped eating meat, all types of meat. Me doing hair, hair has always been something that I've loved to do. Even when I was young, I had like dolls and stuff, and I, like that was the main thing, I wanted to do the hair. I knew how to like braid and cornrow at like five. 